too late. It says one, a molecule, one ammonia molecule can form, and when I cut and paste this from the homework, it didn't include the blanks. Blank hydrogen bonds, because it has blank lone pairs on oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine, and blank hydrogens covalently bonded to O, N, or F. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually, instead of doing ammonia, I'm going to do uh, two different molecules. And uh, I'm actually going to talk about the hydrogen bonding between one molecule of this and another of the same molecule. Because that's always what intermolecular forces are. They're between two different molecules or atoms. And I'm going to talk about the difference with this molecule and another of the same. So in order to do this, I'm going to draw one of these molecules. And I will ask you to remember the COOH group because the COOH group always looks like this. It is our weak acid group and we've been drawing them Oop, only two pairs of electrons there sorry go away electron and now I'm gonna slide this other H in there there so let me scribble that out that's a scribble all right um, and oh, again so this is a weak acid a weak acid, there are thousands of them. This is one of them. They always have the C double bond O, OH group. This carbon also has an H. This, uh, the name of this acid is, or the common name is formic acid. Uh, it comes from, and you can get this by uh, grinding up ants, A-N-T-S, uh, because they make formic acid inside them. Most of them do, I don't know about all of them, but most of them do. And the form root, I think, is Latin for something to do with ants. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so this is formic acid. It is a weak acid. And what I'm trying to ask you to do here is, so one ammonia molecule, uh, or let's do this. This molecule can form blank hydrogen bonds because it has blank lone pairs on oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine, and blank hydrogens. Well, let's look at this molecule. This molecule has one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, hmm. All right. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with it. It has four hydrogen bonds that it can form. So four pairs of lone pairs, I guess four lone pairs on oxygens and one hydrogen. That's the one right here. One hydrogen covalently bonded to oxygen. Okay, which means that it can form, you add these up, and it can form possibly five hydrogen bonds. Now, this molecule here has the Lewis structure. CH2O with a double bond to the oxygen. The only two hydrogen bonds that can form here are to the two lone pairs on oxygen. And there are zero hydrogens bonded to either oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine, so no more and so plus zero 
hydrogen covalently bonded to oxygen. So it can form two hydrogen bonds. And so you'll have to do it for ammonia or whatever molecule you pull up, you, you pull up there. And as a third example, let me actually do HCl. HCl has, and I guess I should draw its Lewis structure here, HCl has zero lone pairs on oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. And zero hydrogens covalently bonded to oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. So the calculation would go zero plus zero equals zero for HCl. Any questions about any of these examples or a separate one?